Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is my fourth video on bearings. In the last three videos, I have covered uh, basics of bearings, uh, material used for their manufacture and uh, their design features. Now in this video, I will cover different types of damages that occur to the bearing and systems employed to monitor the bearing conditions. So let's begin with the video. So basic, uh, basically uh, the bearing faults which are there in the bearing, which occur in the bearing are abrasion, erosion, corrosion, misalignment and spark erosion. Now let's discuss one by one. First is abrasion. The fine scoring of the bearing in radial direction is, uh, is uh, leads to abrasion. The size of contaminants dictates the depth of scoring and particles may become embedded in the white metals. This abrasion will score the shaft and will also reduce bearing life. Sorry. Now the uh, second one is erosion. Strips of overlayer wears by cavitation in the radial direction and that uh, leads to erosion. This cavitation occurs by the pressure reduction after point of minimum contact and the effect is reduced when pressure is increased. Erosion damage also increases when the bearing clearance increases. This is due to increased movement of the journal in the bearing. Now the third is corrosion. As we all know corrosion uh, can take place in the presence of oxygen and water. So this occurs when lube oil becomes acidic due to oxidation or water increase or contamination from the product of combustion. The metal is attacked and corrosion cell occurs which roughens the bearing surface and reduces its strength. It is identified by darkening surface combined with uh, roughened surface and metal removing occur in uh, several areas. Then we have misalignment. Misalignment could cause by cylinder imbalance or adjacent bearing failure or it can be due to bed plate misalignment. In this uh, misalignment uh, basically leads to wiping or overlay remover by overheating of the main bearing which occur on one side of the bearing. The cause of misalignment could be identified, should be identified before uh, bearing replacement. Otherwise, new bearing will quickly exhibit the same wear pattern. Misalignment damage is often result of adjacent bearing failure rather than cause of it. So we have covered till misalignment. Now the spark erosion. Mostly this spark erosion is asked by the surveyors. So let's discuss what is spark erosion and why it, how it occurs in bearings. Spark erosion is caused by voltage discharge between the main bearing and the journal surface. The cause of the potential can be insufficient uh, earthing of the engine. The potential difference which, which is there, uh, it is uh, uh, due to insufficient earthing of the propeller shaft. The oil film in the bearing act as dielectric. The spark attack in the bearing depends upon the thickness of the oil film. Since the hydrodynamic oil film thickness varies through rotation cycle, the discharge will take place at roughly same instant during each rotation cycle when the film thickness is minimum. As we can see in the diagram, this is what uh, happens in spark erosion. It happens at one place. Uh, in every uh, every revolution of the uh, of the cycle, the roughening will accordingly be concentrated in certain areas of the general surface. This is the bearing, and in general area, or uh, in general also, it will concentrated to specific areas. However, as the bearing wears, the position of the spark attack may shift. Thus, other parts get also get damaged. Uh, which which simply means that as this uh, distance as this uh, erosion or pitting 
uh, increases it uh, it uh, increases the thickness of the dielectric that is the low oil thickness is increased in that area which leads to change in the place as the minimum minimum oil film thickness occur in some different place due to the pitting happening in this area so which leads to shifting of the pitting area or the spark erosion uh, happening in some different place where now uh, the minimum thickness film thickness is happening in earlier stages the roughening area is uh, reassembled pitting erosion but later as the roughness increases small craters will scrap off and picking up bearing metal hence silvery white uh, appearance uh, will occur in the bearing therefore to ensure protection against spark erosion potential lever must be kept uh, maximum at 50 millivolts which is feasible with a high efficiency earthing device if earthing device is installed its effectiveness must be checked regularly spark erosion has only been observed in main bearings and main bearing journals so these are the uh, bearing faults or the basic damages which occur in bearing now we'll see uh, the monitoring how we monitor uh, bearings different types of monitoring arrangements assemblies which are there on the main engine the aim is to avoid extensive damage to the engine instead of uh, uh, it has many good uh, side effects one is uh, that uh, the frequency of opening wearing interval is decreased too much so uh, the monitoring principles uh, which i will discussing then in, uh, they include uh, the bearing wear monitoring system other is uh, the oil in the water in oil uh, monitoring system then we have uh, uh, shaft potential monitoring and at the end uh, we have bearing temperature monitoring system so let's discuss one by one Uh, the first one will be first one i'll discuss is bearing wear monitoring system in this uh, its aim is to detect bearing damage before the lining is worn away by the lining scuffing wiping or abrasive wear or melting out or extensive fatigue of the lining so uh, it, it uh, its intended effect of the system is not to protect the bearing shell as such but mainly to prevent consequent damage to the crankshaft and bed plate in case severe bearing failure occurs so if only bearing uh, is uh, getting damage it uh, it is not that uh, cost effective but uh, if bearing is getting damage it means something is wrong with the system and to protect the crankshaft because it will be a very costly affair if crankshaft gets damage so bearings are monitor that tells the condition of Uh, some kind of damage in the crankshaft or uh, misalignment in the uh, misalignment assembly of the engine so this is how the uh, bearing mon uh, bearing wear monitoring system helps the principle uh, of the system is to measure the vertical position of the cross head in the bottom dead center as the piston moves at bottom dead center the position of the crankshaft crankshaft is sorry uh, the uh, cross head is uh, measured continuously at bottom dead center uh it uh, uh, it measures is mo it, it monitors all uh, three crank pin bearing using two proximity sensors uh, these proximity sen sensors are installed as you can see over here this proximity sensor this is the proximity sensor it is installed on the forward this forward as well as aft aft of the uh, aft of the uh, of the un unit cylinder unit and is it is placed inside the frame box it targets the uh, guide shoe bottom and continuously the sensor measures the distance to the cross head in bottom dead center signals are computed and uh, presented to the computer hardware from it uh, where it is uh, interpreted and uh, it is presented to the user the measuring precision is uh, much more than adequate or needed to obtain an alarm well before steel to steel contact occurs in the bearing in case of wear in the main bearing in the crank pin bearing or in the cross head bearing this vertical position will reflect the wear 
by appropriate signal processing the system delivers alarm or slowdowns in case abnormal wear of one or more wearing occurs so this was bearing wear monitoring system in which we continuously monitor the position of cross head at bottom dead center and that gives at, uh, uh, alarm at correct time in case of abnormal wear now the second one is bearing temperature monitoring system in this the system continuously monitors the temperature of the wearing the monitoring is uh, performed either by measuring temperature on rear side of the bearing shell directly or detecting the written oil from each bearing in the crankcase the written oil is monitored of uh, of each unit continuously and in case if uh, the bearing is getting heated the written oil will also be uh, will have a high temperature that can be help in monitoring bearing in case the temperature is uh, recorded either the bearing shell temperature or the bearing oil outlet temperature and if this temperature is more then alarm is raised the first level of alarm initiates and uh, then uh, then as the temperature is increased the second level will activate slow down now we have the third type of monitoring that is oil in water in oil monitoring system in this the water content in the lube oil can be monitored which is extremely damaging to the engine bearings is significant exceeding the saturation point of the lube oil typically maximum 0.2% volume for short period up to 0.5% volume this uh, oil will uh, lead to corrosion and it will damage so this oil content uh, the water content in the oil is monitored to protect the bearing mostly this lube oil have uh, some some uh, have property of absorbing oil or uh, absorbing water to some extent but after saturation point is reached their uh, their point uh, they, their water content or water retention is also decreased and it uh, it it precipitates out after saturation point the main bearing crank pin bearing and the cross head bearing lined with bivet or tin aluminium may suffer irreversible damage from water contamination higher the water content the faster the wear rate the excessive water content will cause lead over layer in cross head bearing to corrode away rapidly this can be prevented by continuously monitoring eventually water contamination of the lubricating oil for this purpose water in oil monitoring system is implemented in the engine lube oil system which continuously measures the relative humidity of the oil system a probe in the oil piping transmits a signal to the unit which calculates the humidity as a water activity this method of calculation has the advantage of being independent of oil type temperature and the age of the oil so it uh, acts independently of the type of oil the system is also connected to the alarm system and in case the water content is high it gives alarm now the last one is propeller shaft earthing device uh, which we have already uh, discussed in the previous as a spark erosion a spark uh, erosion which is the basic fault so for that to, for uh, spark erosion not uh, to prevent spark erosion we have some propeller shaft earthing device installed on the system this device is designed to avoid spark erosion in the uh, in the engine bearing and the journal the spark erosion phenomena is result of difference in the electrical potential between the metal parts the level of electrical potential lies generally between 200 to 600 millivolts on engine without protection from the propeller shaft earthing device this is this is the propeller sorry this is a propeller shaft and this is a earthing device which is there and it is this is the hull so this 
this tries to maintain the hull uh, the, the hull and the propeller shaft at same potential and this is how the potential difference is measured between the propeller shaft and the hull so this potential shaft the, this potential difference when this uh, this protection device this protection device is not installed this uh, potential difference range from 200 to 600 millivolts but after this is installed the maximum reading it should have is 50 millivolts in some cases it has been found that difference in the electrical potential between the hull and the propeller has caused spark erosion on the main bearing and the journal of the engine so to avoid this a continuous electrical earthing system between the propeller and the shift structure must be established this circuit usually exists when propeller is at rest mostly uh, when it is when propeller is rest is rest it is already in contact with the uh, hull so its potential is zero where the metal metal, metal contact is always uh, occurring at rest position However, while the shaft is, shaft is turning, the bearing film uh, creates an intermediate high resistance which effectively insulates the propeller from the hull structure. Since the propeller presents a relatively large surface area of the base metal, it, at, it attracts cathodic protection currents which tends to discharge by arcing across the bearing oil film. This can result in spark erosion which eventually leads to pitting or stripping of the white metal bearing surface which we have already discussed in the bearing faults. So in order to reduce the potential difference between the propeller shafts and the hull, the protecting device is installed. This is called earthing device which is installed on the intermediate shaft. This is uh, the, the potential between the shaft and the earth is continuously displayed or monitored and its value should not exist exceed 50 millivolts if uh, its value exceeds 80 millivolts then it gives an alarm or uh, uh, indicates that uh, uh, brushes are worn out or poorly maintained the system is connected to the alarm system so that uh, uh, it is not it, it, it does not remain unattended So uh, hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you. Take care. Have fun.